What do you think about having a fried egg on a cheeseburger? The combination of the juicy beef patty, melted cheese, and the creamy yolk of a fried egg creates a delightful contrast of textures and flavors. The runny yolk can act as a sort of sauce, adding an extra layer of creaminess to the burger. Some people also enjoy the slightly crispy edges of the fried egg, which add a pleasant crunch to the experience. No shit. I did this before it was a thing and people thought I was nuts. Midnight chow on base would have breakfast and dinner stuff available and I'd usually either be on duty for mid-shift or hammered drunk in the dorm so. Fried egg on cheeseburger. Poor Filipino lady always looked at me like I was mentally ill. Tastes good, but unnecessary and too filling if you've got yourself a 1-2 pounds or with cheese. Like, if you're out here cycling 50 miles a day, the protein and nutrients are just a bonus. Otherwise, it's always sort of felt akin to putting a crepe on a waffle. It's gonna taste alright, but like, why? Absolutely. I live for gratuitously overstuffed burgers. Wang a portobello mushroom and some macaroni cheese and with the bacon and blue cheese and curly fries and cheese and bacon and cheese as well while you're at it. Here for a good time not a long time yar. I'm a purist. You pay for the taste of the bread, meat and cheese. Fixings like vegetation help texture and mouthfeel. The egg doesn't do much if the above is done right and consider you have to pay more for it. My two cents, go do it if you want though I don't care. Yes but it's planned alone. It needs more. Some cheddar, gouda, some nice fried onions and mushrooms and then a good sauce. Some fried bell peppers and ham salami if you want more. Maybe chili or plain burger sauce. Hmm and now I'm hungry. The Australian burger with the lot was the first time I encountered it. The Aussie burger with everything seems to be pretty interesting for a number of its ingredient choices. Beetroot, pineapple and a fried egg are common additions. I've had it, and was not impressed. To each his own though. I couldn't taste it. The flavors didn't meld. For something I find truly savory I'll have a couple of Chicago dogs. Once a friend turned me onto one I never looked back. That's the only way you should have a burger. I want the egg runny. I want it filthy. I want my fingers sick. I want people to look at me in horror and I just tear into this fat ass sandwich. Egg good. Always egg. Never ever interested me but just yesterday I was at a restaurant and they messed up my order and I just said screw it and didn't bother saying anything because I don't mind trying new things. It was awesome. Absolutely delicious and will take the option if it's available. A place I used to frequent also had a burger that added a hot link to the burger that was also delicious, but they've since taken it off the menu. It's delicious, but it's also kind of annoying because it makes the burger messier than it needs to be. I usually opt out because I don't want to deal with the mess, but every once in a while it's great. I think it's a delicious idea and that you're asking Reddit to opine on this without corroborating context being given personal choice you have to make, helps me form a personal opinion of you. It's good. A few decades ago eating a fried egg on a burger was very common. As I have chickens and fresh eggs, on the rare occasion I fix a burger, I add a fried egg. I had it once but generally any time a place makes more than the normal hamburger they go overboard and overdose where you can't even fit the damn thing in your mouth. Not the same, but similar instead of making a BLT, I make a best bacon, egg, spinach, tomato. The runny fried egg with the bacon, spinach, and tomato. Oh yeah, overall it's fine, tends to be a bit much flavor wise. One big benefit though is if the burger is a little overcooked the egg yolk tend to cover that up. I was surprised the first time I was given one of these, in Hong Kong back in the 1970s. After shrugging and eating it anyway, I found it delicious. It's absolutely delicious. Though I will say it depends on the burger type toppings, because I do choose to leave it off occasionally. The bomb. Place near my my house used to serve a cheeseburger with a fried egg bacon and pesto that was worth fighting wars over. I wasn't really affected one way or the other. At least it was better than the cinnamon curry rice I once saw on a burger. Stumbling home at 3am after a series of alcoholic beverages, a half pounder with cheese egg and bacon is the best shit ever. Egg with a running yolk in a sandwich is always delicious. I don't see why wouldn't it be true for a cheeseburger. I be used to think it was rare then I tried one and it changed my ducking life. Always add an egg when I can now. Amazing I would eat eggs on everything if I could. Steak, burgers, rice, don't care. Eggs go with anything. Best fast food breakfast sandwich is a jumbo jack with a fried egg just ask for it at the window. Amazing. Haven't tried it but I enjoy loco moco which is kind of similar but with rice instead of a bun. So why not? I like it. But two has to be runny or Therese no point. Add some bacon. 
and some guac if I'm feeling extra. Is this frown upon? I've been doing this for years since I don't like lettuce, sauce and all that shit. Why not? Fried egg delicious. Cheeseburger delicious. Fried egg cheeseburger too delicious. Additional calories on top of something that's already going to fill you up. It is very good though. There is nothing better than a good old kitchen sink burger. Without the egg, well it's just not. I will routinely have a fried egg on a burger when I would visit Australia. Minus the beetroot. Always like that. Unless it's from one of those our burgers are $22 without a side restaurant. First time I had one was in France. I thought it was weird until I ate it. Absolutely delicious. If the yolk is runny then yes, your first bite breaks the yolk and it runs down into the burger. It's amazing. So good. Another winner is Nutella. The sweet and savory go really well together. It can be pretty good. Common in Australia. They'll also throw a slice of beet on a burger too. Steak and Shake has one I think it's called the Royal Steak Burger that has bacon on it too. Hungry face. Sure, I often fry up some eggs if I'm having burgers. Just it can get a bit messy is all. I tried before it's delicious but only if it's done correctly and can be messy to eat. I would hold the cheese. It's never good to overload a burger with too many toppings. Who needs a relationship when you have a cheeseburger with a fried egg? Perfection. A big greasy burger smothered in that delicious runny golden egg gravy. It's alright on occasion. I always tell them hard fried so it's not runny at all. It sounds delicious but unfortunately I have an egg intolerance and must abstain. Have heard it tastes good. But I'm not an egg fan, unless it's baked in something. It's amazing. Like 100 million restaurants do this and it's a rousing success. This sounds really good. I'm going to try this next time I have a cheeseburger. It depends on the burger and other toppings, but I'm generally highly in favor. That's probably what was thought about when bacon was showing up on burgers. I've egg on a works burger. It sounds a little heavy for a cheeseburger. I've heard it's good. I've been curious as to try it but I never have yet. It's called the morning glory at a restaurant I used to go to. It's amazing. It's not an every burger thing but when I'm feeling it it's real good. It's good. Sometimes I want one, sometimes I don't. But it's delicious. Ooh yes please. Add a splash of HP sauce as well and it's the must nuts. I never do it at home but Red Robin has the royal burger and it's good. It's a younger man's game. Delicious. But I can't eat like that anymore. It's actually really good. The egg yolk functions as a delicious sauce. No. But then again I don't like fried eggs anyway. So I'm a bit biased. It's an easy way to make the burger cost an extra $3 at a restaurant. Oh man, it's like the burger in Breakfast World's Collided Purium. I'm allergic to chicken eggs but fried duck egg goes hard on a burger. Not my first choice of addition but a fried egg is never a bad thing. Love it, but a lot of places don't even have it as add-on option. I hate eggs and I hate cheeseburgers so this is a big no for me. My kid and husband both love it, I'm not a fan. Too messy for me. I'm down for it maybe 25 at the time and when it hits, it hits. No, thank you. I only like scrambled or soft boiled eggs anyway. I've never heard of such a thing before. Maybe yes, totally. Sounds like it could be good, depending on what else is there. Too much. I like fried eggs, I like burgers but it's overkill. On a sausage patty, as a breakfast sandwich, would be better. Sounds delicious but too much protein for me in one city. Argentines people eat these things without fried eggs. I add it more for the protein boost than flavor. I'm a fan. Bad for you but I'm a bodybuilder on a bulk so gimme gimme. Honestly never thought about it, but it sounds pretty good. Tastes great, but I hate cleaning the egg off my shirt. Fuck. Me. Up. Egg and burgers slap with a well-made bun. A fried egg compliments pretty much any meal or dish. Toss in a nice thin sliced home fries and I'm down. When it's paired with the right things it's so good. Amazing. Also, a pineapple slice can be wild too. No. Egg belongs on a bacon, egg and cheese biscuit. I usually skip the cheese if I'm going with an egg. Not for me, but I can see how others might like it. I don't really like fried eggs so I'm good on that lol. Not great on a cheeseburger. Great on a hamburger. It's so messy but delicious so I think it's worth. I love fried eggs on anything but it gets so messy. Messy but it's so damn good on a cheeseburger lol. The best burger I ever made had a fried egg on it.